Well, good morning. Good Thursday morning. Great to be with you on this warm, on this early morning. Uh, still a little bit warm outside, but it's going to be cool, cooler very soon. Uh, the devotion I want to share today actually is an adaptation of our Lutheran Hour Ministries devotion that comes through, and uh, it bears uh, on the Epistle lesson for this next Sunday. Uh, a wonderful word that we shared as we looked at this uh, in our Bible study on Wednesday, just yesterday morning in a lectionary study, about the power of God's word, the role of God's word, the warning that we are to listen to God's word, and how God's word works. And it's compared to a two-edged sword. And so today's devotion is called a scalpel. Scalpel. And it comes from Hebrews 4, 12 to 13. For the word of God is sharper, is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of a soul and of spirit, of joints and of marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And no creature is hidden from his sight, but all are naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must give an account. Now, I don't know about you, but sharp objects they kind of make me nervous, especially in the hands of my teenage kids. When they would pull out a knife to cut an apple, I'm like, whoa, whoa, careful, careful. I, I know what sharp things can do. And it doesn't matter whether they're knives, scalpels, swords. Uh, they're able to do massive damage. How can they pierce and divide flesh, gents, tendons, joints and tendons? I've been on the receiving end of that too often. And so it's not my favorite image here in the Word of God, thinking about it as a two-edged sword. I also don't like the idea of exposure and nakedness. If you're like me, maybe you have these nightmares every so often where you wake up in the middle of some place and you're completely naked. And you're wondering, how did I get here? Why am I not wearing any clothes? It's a scary thing. It makes me feel helpless, scared. I'd rather just keep my clothes on and just be like everyone else, go your way, don't pay attention to me. That's usually what my dream is, is no one look at me because that way I don't have to worry about it. And yet there's one time when nakedness and exposure are just par for the course, where a sharp sword or rather a scalpel is absolutely necessary. That's in life-saving surgery. Now doctors can work on what they can't see, thus the nakedness. And when it comes to the scalpels, the sharper, the better. They create wounds, yes, and they also cut out cancers and infections that might otherwise kill a person. And the wound from that very sharp scalpel will heal faster than a wound from a, a dull knife. Now, there are times in our Christian lives when God has to do surgery on our hearts. And he has to cut out some evil habit or some desire or a way of thinking that would otherwise lead to our deaths. And so we find ourselves naked before him, spiritually speaking, of course. As we confess our sins, we try to hold nothing back, knowing that he wants nothing but the best for us. And we submit to his scalpel, trusting that God who hurts us is doing it in order to heal us, and that we will be glad in the end. Now, occasions like these, they aren't fun. And yet I try to remember that the worst of it was born by God himself, by Jesus, when he hung on that cross, bearing the weight of the world's evil, looking at us in love, makes it easier for me to bear the lesser wounds of Christian discipleship. And remembering his resurrection makes it possible for me to rejoice, even in my pain, knowing that God will bring all of us, his people, to everlasting joy and happiness with him in his kingdom. So this visual of a Word of God being sharper than any two-edged sword. It reminds us what we do every time we come into worship. Whether it's Saturdays or Sundays, we begin always, always with the time of confession. Allowing God to cut, to remove, and to cleanse our evil hearts, our evil desires, our sins. We know that needs to be done. And so we come, even though it is painful at times, even though it makes us feel like we're exposed and laid bare in front of our brothers and sisters in Christ because we know in love, God wants to do that work in order to save us, in order to get what is better for us, in order to bless us. And so the importance of regular confession and absolution are allowing God's work, word to work in our hearts and lives. And yes, we do that on weekends in our worship, but we also do it as we read God's word. 
as we read aspects that convict us, that make us realize the guilt that we're harboring, the, the pains, the, the, the stuff that we don't want others to know about that will embarrass us, will make us feel less. When that word cuts there, we're also reminded as the word continues and as we are reminded of the gospel, how God's son bore the ultimate pain, the ultimate nakedness, the ultimate uh, surgery, if you would, upon the cross so that we would be saved, so that we would be rescued. Well, that was the devotion I wanted to share with you today. It was one that when I read, I thought, well, that's a, a, a very good word to share. And I thought it was also one that we spent some time on yesterday. Although as I get kind of animated on our Wednesday uh, morning lectionary study, but a reminder that the power of God's word, how the Lord's word is meant to work and how it's meant to excise out the cancers, the sins, the, the lust and desires and evils from us so that we might receive that heavenly kingdom. So let's bow our heads for a moment of prayer. Dear Father, help me when I go through painful times and let your word not only cut, but also heal. Bless all who gather with me this morning on this devotion and throughout the rest of the day, that Lord, they might be held close to you and truly value your word, both law and gospel. We ask this, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for joining me on this uh, devotion this morning and uh, have a very blessed day. Aloha and know that I love you. Have a great day.